I, I try to ask this of everybody I, I interview that's working or, or dealing with um, our homeless community. What would you say to those who are listening or watching on the YouTube channel um, that are like just nervous or apprehensive of, of going out? Because, you know, they sometimes, you know, some of our folks, they see sometimes they see the more scarier side mm -hmm. of homelessness. They might watch something like uh, Seattle's dying or or something like that, where they see kind of a more of a like a scarier version of what homelessness looks like. So they feel like, oh, mm -hmm. I, I, it's not for me. Um, and I do this for a living. And I, I, I tell you, I've, I've only had a handful of times where I've gone out where I felt um, like, wow, that's, that, was pretty, that was pretty intense. Mm -hmm. But 97% of the time I go out, I, I've never had any feeling. So what would you say to, to the people that might be thinking the same thing? Um, well, I share your opinion of it like 97% of the time, probably more like 99% of the time. Yeah. Because, uh, a lot of the people in San Jose are super like relaxed and, um, like if you're apprehensive about it, um, the few don't define the many, um, the few people who are not very, you know, keen on people, um, while they have their reasons, they are not numerous, um, and like, I understand their perspective. I want to validate uh, people's perspective who are not very, you know, good with people. Um, but also, they are not numerous. The ma like the majority of people out there, uh, the vast, vast majority, um, are very, very kind, caring, you know, very vulnerable individuals who will, you know, want to talk. With, like, if you actually open up and you tell them about yourself a little bit and actually start a dialogue, you'll learn a lot. You'll meet some really interesting people. Like this one dude named Bill. Um, uh, I'm only using his name because he's super laid back. And uh, um, I think uh, he's a super cool guy. He's like 65. He's like way more physically fit than I am at my age. Like he'll run. He runs for fun. Uh, he's got a super cute dog. Um, but uh, he used to be like a, uh, like a mechanic for the Hells Angels biker gang. Mm -hmm. um, and like uh, he's been all over the country like He's a super cool guy, and like I never would have met him, and you know heard about his life experience, and you know spoken with him if I didn't, you know, decide to do this. Like you'll meet really cool people um, who are very, very interesting, and you know just in a tough time. Like sure. the few don't define the many. The majority of people are wonderful, amazing individuals who just have nowhere to go, and you know have the issues that come along with that. And it's hard to see, but it's, I don't think I would be able to sleep at night if uh, I didn't, you know, wasn't doing what I do. And even then still like not, it's not great because I know that we need a lot more help and support. So yeah, I urge people like, don't look at the few and generalize to the many. Yeah, that's really cool. I, I like I like that. That's I, I will say that I have engaged over the years in some of the most interesting conversations ever with some of our folks. I mean, MIT graduates, Stanford graduates, yeah. you know, folks that live here in the Bay Area that were, you know, part of the upper upper at one time and due to um, uh, underlying bipolar or depression or schizophrenia that they didn't know that they had that mm -hmm. showed up later in their life and all of a sudden they swirled down mm -hmm. and um, and it's just it's 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 sad uh, for one to hear the story but what what for me um, is that I've realized like gosh it's so relatable like this this person could be my uncle or somebody in my family and you you know and you're sitting there and you're hearing their story you're like, oh my goodness, like that could happen to any one of us. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it, it kind of brings to line, people don't realize sometimes we're just one paycheck away from living in our car ourselves. Yeah. And I don't think people realize that. Mm -hmm. But what I have realized doing this is that by having those conversations and reaching out to people, um, you give them a sense of that they have a family and a yeah. friend. And so together, it's made it easier to help get people convinced to take some steps to get off the streets mm -hmm. and get back into some kind of a, I don't know what normal is, but a normal lifestyle.